I wasn't born on Krypton. I didn't inherit a fortune. And I've never seen the inside of an asylum. But none of that matters. Because now, I've got my own powers. And with those powers, I can choose to save this world. Or enslave it. Give up! We have you surrounded! Where'd he go? Side by side with the universe's greatest heroes? Or villains? legend. Welcome to this DC Universe Online live stream event, our very special Christmas event here with Taraya in the monitor womb of the Watchtower with the crazy Super Zeros in the background here. Can I get a shout from the Super Zeros? Hello! Hello. 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 Merry Christmas guys and girls, good to see you all here and big hello to everybody who's come along to join us in the chat room here on YouTube, whoa ho, ho 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 to you, Schnelly73, MG Swift Illusion, hello to you and Merry Christmas, JL Man, hello to you, Philip El Mote, hello, Jai452, hello to you as well and will you look at this, the first thing I can notice here is a bunch of Christmas themed crazy Crazy Warriors here, Chilma Luminous and I can see you straight away. Hello to you and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too, Sambo. Now, is that a giant candy cane that you're wielding there? Oh yes, this uh, is the candy cane of doom. The candy cane of doom, and what on earth are you wearing? Oh, this is just an elf suit, I'm being an elf today. You're an elf. I can see you've got your sack of presents on the back there. That looks very cool. Good to see you. Oh, oh, look this, at this. This is a present. Uh, it's what? A present? Oh, they're presents. No, what? it's not presents. Oh, what are they? Oh, what are they? Just give me a minute to get into position and I'll show you. Ooh, this sounds interesting. Should I be worried? Um, depending on your character. All right, now we're watching. We're watching an anticipation. Oh, what was that? Hey, Christmas. <laughs> Thank you very much, Christmas Elf. <laughs> it's snowballs. It is snowballs. Oh my god, are they exploding snow? Do you know what? I'm not sure what Father Christmas would have to say about that. And speaking of Father Christmas, can I see Saint Nicholas standing next to me? Wait a minute. Hello, Saint Nick. Happy holidays, Sambo. Happy holidays. Ho, ho, ho. Hang on a minute. I recognize that voice. Who is that? <laughs> uh... 21 November, a.k.a. Mind Blaster. It is Mind Blaster. Hello to you. Now, you're definitely in the holiday spirit. Is that sack of presents for me, by chance? By chance? Uh, no, that's my laundry. Oh, that's your... <laughs> that's your laundry. Okay, well, I guess even Father Christmas has to do laundry. That is awesome. So, hang on. Is that something special you've got there? What if somebody wanted to dress up as Santa Claus? How could they do that? What is that outfit? What is that outfit? This outfit is the North Pole outfit that you get by doing the alert and uh, grabbing the holly leaves and turning them in. And the hat is from the marketplace and the back is actually the holiday elf back. Okay, all right, you've colored it red and white, I presume. Of course. That is very, very cool. There you go, folks. So one more time, what is that outfit called? North, North, the North Pole. The North Pole. There you go. And hello, JL Man in the chat room. Yes, I do remember you. I tend to remember most people. Booyah Shaka. 
Hey there, hello to you. Good to see you. Scar Clear 101, hello, hello. And oh my lord, Tiger Hawk Rosebud has invaded the chat room. Hi, Tiger. Where's our presence, Sambo? Wait a minute. Well, look, you are in my presence. That's what I decide is present. So how's, how's that? Now, I can see somebody here. This is very interesting. We all know that the end of the world was a bit of a fizz. It was a bit of a flop, right? The Mayans had predicted the end of the world. The end of the kind of world. boring, really. Yeah, it was a bit of a let. In fact, you know what? I think it was the worst apocalypse ever. The worst apocalypse ever. Standing next to me on my other side here, on my left, is a character that, well, I don't know, kind of looks familiar. They're called The End Is Near, and they're looking very Mayan, um, but they also kind of look familiar. That wouldn't have something to do with a panda's lunch or anything like that. Hang on, who is that? Hello, The End Is Near. Hello, hello. Now, uh, before you tell us who you are, um, I'd just like to say that that was definitely the worst apocalypse ever. Have you got anything to say about that, and what went wrong? The modern people have it wrong. The, the world is really going to end uh, tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. That's the ticket. Oh, it's oh, going to end tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> Somehow I think it's always going to be tomorrow. And you know what? You can't fool me, Kazin. I know who it is. It is Kazin. <laughs> Hello, sir. How are you? Fine. How are you? I'm good. Merry Christmas to you and yours, by the way. This is a very cool looking outfit you've got on there. Thank you. Now, if somebody else wanted to become the end is near and get all Mayanized, that's, yes, that's a word I've decided, Mayanized, uh, what would they do? Well, like, what is that? Is that some special kind of outfit? Yes, it drops from the uh, Catwoman uh, solo instance, oh. the Mayan gear. Oh, so I wouldn't be very good. You know, I didn't, never had much luck in there, to be completely honest. Wasn't my best moment. Kind of up there with Mannheim and Pingbot. Are you getting an idea yeah. now? <laughs> not my best well, moment. Catwoman is not as bad as them, I don't think. Well, yeah, I don't know. When it's me, she seems to be. Do you know who else I can see here? Look at this. This is absolutely bonkers. If it weren't for the D20, I would have no idea. There we go. They've actually changed back into a normal outfit. It is Fair Blitz. Hello, sir. How are you today? Hello. I'm good, thank you. Now, um... I was getting a little bit of shtick earlier about my pigtails. In fact, let's zoom right in. This is my pigtails, and of course, all of my characters wear pigtails, Fair Blitz. You know that, right? You, you've never seen another character without pigtails. Well, except for Australianus. But I would just like to draw everybody's attention to this. And in fact, if you wouldn't mind dropping your D20 for just one moment. There we go. Um, it doesn't get any more silly than that. Fair Blitz, I just sort of like you to know you've got a present on your head. Would you care to explain yourself? Well, you know how I love my hats, right? Well, you do love your well, hats. I, someone told me they got me a hat for Christmas, but I can't unwrap it just yet. <laughs> There's probably a hand underneath here somewhere. There probably is. Oh my lord. In fact, you know what? I'm picking on you, but I have seen it in a couple of places. Before we ask you what that is, hello there, Super Fluffy Sage. That is an awesome name there in the YouTube chat. Minecraft Gamer 34, of course, hello to you. And Knight X Crimson, a big hello to you. So come on, fair. If somebody wanted to have a unwrapped present as a hat, what is it called and where do you get it from? Uh, there are three different styles you can get for this. Right. It's basically the same, except it will have a different pattern on the wrapping paper, and you can get it from the Christmas stuff. Oh, so it's all part of the Christmas celebrations. Now, by the way, before we go any further, folks, if you're watching along in the live stream, um, it's always difficult to get the sound right on these events, because there's so many folks that come and join us here. So if you can't hear the voices, let us know. If you can't hear the game sound, let us know. If you'd like me to turn down Kazin, and let's face it, who wouldn't? Then you let me know as well. <laughs> oh, because then I'm just kidding. The end is near. The end is near. We don't want to hear that. Look who else I can see here. It is Zazap. Zazap is looking awfully Christmassy. Hello, Zazap. How are you, buddy? Hello, I'm great. How about you? I'm good. Now explain your outfit because I don't know. We saw Chilmer's elf event. Uh, not their event. Elf outfit, and it looked very traditional. Dare I say it that your one's looking a little bit on the sexy side? What's going on here? Well, the main outfit is just the urban slick. It's a usual style. The hat, however, is the Santa hat you can get from the store. Oh, so hang on a minute. You've just dyed it. We're looking at you right now. Have you just dyed it Christmas colors, like the normal slick outfit? Yep. 
That is very clever because it actually looks like a schmexy elf outfit. In fact, that's what we'll deem it from here on in. I can also see on the other side someone who's gone a little bit more traditional than users app, and that would be Sergeant Tadako. Hey, Sergeant, how's it going, buddy? Hey, Samba, how are you? Merry I'm Christmas. good. Good to see you. Now, tell me about your hat because it looks really cool. Well, my hat is the Celtic one. I thought it was. So it's kind of from the Leprechaun, what do you call it, like St. Patrick's Day? Is that where it's from? Yeah, I think it's different. The St. Patrick's Day is, al is almost a year old, that hat. I have to change it. Wow, no, it's very cool. It looks good. It suits the outfit, and I see you've gone red and green as well, just like everybody around us here. And by the way, welcome to everyone else who joined us here in game. You can see we've got cable. We've got, oh, look, look at that. There is underwear, underwear girl over there. Two guesses as to who that is. I'm thinking it's Our Natural. There we go. There's a close-up of underwear. Underwear girl. Our Natural. Hello, my friend. Is that you? Come on. Own up. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, it's you. Are you... I don't know. Are you ever going to wear clothes? I hope you're not like this in real life, are you? Out in public. Well, no, but I have reindeer antlers on. You do have... Reindeer antlers on. That's very, very cool. And you've got Christmassy coloured hair as well. I don't know about you guys, but I am so excited for Christmas. And it's so good to see everybody here getting into the Christmas spirit. Look at that. Alan Spark is looking very cool. We've got Scar... Wait a minute. Scarlet. I wonder if Scarlet Peacock is Scarlet Rosebud. Hmm. We'll have to let them... Is that you? Let us know in the chat, Scarlet. Because it looks like you. It looks like someone that you would have because you're dancing. That's the only reason that I know. Look at that. We've got Selena Spellheart. We've got Gold Dust. We've got Captricity. Obviously, we've got Zazap there. We've got Magic Fair. We've got Coal Mine Luma over on the side there. We've got Eon EX, who is also looking very Christmassy. American General looking very, very cool. Dark Sawn. We've got Full Metal Phoenix. All these familiar names that have come out. Shadow Acer as well. Great to have you guys along. So, for those of you who have joined us today, yes, we're live. This is not a pre-recorded show. This is actually our last live show for the year for DC Universe Online. Because guess what, guys? I have got a whole month of vacation. A whole month! I've got a month off. I'm absolutely not going to know what I'm going to do with myself. That means going to have a little bit of a break. We'll be doing lots of live streaming, though. And that means live streaming DCUO as well as a bunch of other games. So, hope you guys are going to come along and join Yay! us for that. Yay! Yes, yeah, so we're going to be doing oh, all sorts of shenanigans. Yeah. And Kazin, that means we're going to be able to attempt a whole bunch of raids and events that we normally don't get to cover off in the show. Are you going to be around for the Christmas holidays, Kazin? Uh, yeah, I should be. Good, because that means you can guide us through a whole bunch of content that we normally don't get to see, and I'm very, very excited about that. But you know what? That's awesome. in the future. Yeah, that's going to be good. What we're here for today is pretty much the Christmas event, and I can see in the background, I think, the outline of a Christmas tree. Now, Fair Blitz, I was talking to you a little bit earlier, and you know a little bit about the Christmas event. So, can you tell us, firstly, what is Christmas in DC Universe all about? Like, is it about Father Christmas, or is it about some other crazy character in the DC Universe? It largely revolves around the Orange Lantern Laughleys, who's going around stealing all the Christmassy stuff. Oh, oh dear. So we've got someone who's... He tried to steal me a few days ago. He tried to steal you, Chilma. We can't have that. We can't have that. All right, so, Fair Blitz, if we've got Laughleys kicking about here causing trouble, um, I mean, who do I have to go and talk to somebody? I mean, I want to I want to lend a hand. Is there some kind of NPC or some kind of superhero that I can go over to and sign up for the cause, if you know what I mean? The Christmas cause? Well, you can see Hal Jordan just over there. Oh! Oh, so he's over there. Oh, is that who's by the Christmas tree? Kazin, have you done these events? Uh, yeah, I've done them. I haven't done it today, but I have done it on some of my other characters today. Yeah. All right, good. So we'd love you to stick around so you can help us out. Now, if we go to the website quickly, well, I'm not going to go there, but if I think about the website, and that, of course, is the DC Universe Super Zero's website, Chilma and Mind Blaster, you guys had actually organized an event today. Am I right or am I right? Yes, you are right. All right, so let's start with Mind Blaster. Mind Blaster, can you give us a bit of a background before we go and speak to Hal Jordan? What happened today? Because I believe you had a bit of a competition, is that right? Yes, we had a Find Me contest again. This time, Nibor, 
was hiding out in Glen Morgan Square. Right. And right. some of the clues I gave were this would be the place to be in 10 days or New Year's. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, and uh, my stealth makes me like lead so Superman can't see me. And I was hiding behind a Superman billboard. Oh, that's very oh, clever. That's Hang on, but that's also very difficult. Did anybody actually find you guys? Yes, we had three people, and Dr. Sun, well, we had four people. Uh, Fair Blitz declined to enter the alert uh, because he likes, to stay, he likes to stay alive during these things. Oh, I um, see. <laughs> fine, whatever. <laughs> and uh, so we have Dr. Sun, Cable 67311, and Glacier 98 are going to join you in the alert. Woo! Congratulations, guys. Okay, and I guess we'll find out more about the alert a little bit later. So thank you very much for that mind blaster. And Chilma, Chilma, in terms of the alert, I mean, I understand we're going to go have a chat with Hal Jordan in a second. We'll go talk to him next to the Christmas tree, and we're going to go do some stuff out in the world. But for the event alert itself, is that something that can be done daily by folk, or is it just a one-off? It's a daily thing. It's a daily thing. And is it like what sort of... Obviously, it's a Christmas theme. Has it got something to do with La Fleas as well? Yep. It has? All right. So I guess we can find out about that a little bit later on. So Kazin, first things first, we're going to go and talk to Hal Jordan. Will everybody be able to come along with us? Yeah, but it might get crowded. Oh, well, that's okay. We're used to a crowd around here. Let's do that, folks. Let's hop over and have a chat to Hal Jordan and kick off this, our last alert event for the year for the Super Zeros and, of course, our Christmas celebration here in DC Universe Online. Here's Hal Jordan, if I can get near him. There we go. Let's, uh, can I get near him? There we go. Try to, Hold get, try to get up above him. Yeah, that there might be the easiest. That way you can not get trapped. Oh, he doesn't want to talk to me. Let's have another go. There we go. Ever wanted your own holiday special? Now's your chance, because we need your help. Larflees, the Orange Lantern of Avarice, has gotten wind of the gift-giving season and wants to take everything for himself. This guy puts the mind in Miser. He's after everything he can get his hands on. Gifts, trees, snowmen, decorations, anything. And he's not going to share. Go out into the cities and find his stashes of stolen holiday goods. Recover as much as you can before he sends it back to his planet, Okara. And give it to the folks who really need it. All right, well, there we go. You heard the man. Now, very quickly, going to the chat room first. Where is the event area, says Scarclear101. Uh, well, we're here in the monitor womb, the monitor womb of the Watchtower, but we're not going to be here for much longer. But if you're very quick, you might be able to come along and join us. All right, so... I heard from Hal Jordan there. He told me about that. Let's have a look at my journal and let's see. Type. Oh. Stuff when it comes to the emotional spectrum and the cores. So if he's concerned about Larflees, we should consider this a priority. Good luck. There we go. Thank you very much, Oracle. Let's complete that quest. All done. All right. So Kazin, now I've spoken to him. I've had some things come up on my quest tracker and it says recover stolen holiday goods and search Metropolis and Gotham City for stolen holiday goods. So I'm taking that as a hint that we have to get out into the open world. Is there anywhere specifically we have to go or can these goods be found anywhere out in the open world? Yeah, anywhere in Metropolis and Gotham. All right. So, well, let's think about this. Um, Mind Blaster and Chilma, you are the ones that organized the competition, and as always, we thank you very much for that. Where would you like to head out into the world? It's up to you, my friends. You can tell us where we're going to go. Firstly, is it Gotham or Metropolis? Metropolis. Let's go Metropolis. Metropolis sounds good. If you go near the town, we might be able to find Lark, please. Oh, okay. Well, if you, want, you guys would like to lead the way, because you know how much I loathe and how much I can't navigate my way around the Watchtower. So, Luma, there we go. All right, guys, let's head over here. We're heading directly south by the looks of things. So we're going to follow Chilma. And which of yeah, which PD are you going to take us to, Chilma? Chilma? Midtown. Midtown. All right, so... Midtown. There we go, Metropolis Midtown Police Station. So we'll just wait and make sure that everybody can come along here. Let's just actually put that in chat. Metro Midtown Station. There we go. Shoma, I'm heading for the Daily Planet Plaza. There we go. All right, so we'll 
teleport there and of course you guys know how that works once we're in the watchtower we can hit a teleporter and make our way to the city and jail man is saying samba can i join your league i don't know guys everyone in the chat room what do you think can someone join the league is that a big yay or a big nay what do you think yeah, yeah. yeah. yes yes of course who knows how somebody can join our league anybody who knows oh, i know i know oh, oh I know. who's that who's that is me how do you join the league First, you have to apply on our website, and then you just ask for a lead invite in the Super Zero's officer channel. That's in the sample one. In said channel, I meant. And in fact, if you go along and apply on the Super Zero's engine site, there's a link to that in this very stream. You can see it in the description below this stream right now. And you apply, you will get all the instructions you need there. So it's that simple. But you must apply. You must, must apply. You can't join unless you've gone through that application process. All right, so am I heading out the front gate, guys? We're going out the front? Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right, let's, yep. Do, that. All right, let's do that. This Don't is one of invite me. This is I have Larflees right below me. Really? Larflees okay. is right by you. Good okay, lord. Near him. Okay, wherever you are mine, stay there. Don't activate them. At least not till Tavari gets there, okay? Right. There's going to be so many people. <laughs> I'll meet, we'll meet on the freeway. Well, can someone... Because then, what, what is this about Larflees being out in the open world? Is he an open world boss like Bizarro, etc., etc.? No, no. It's, uh, there's a fee for spotting him uh, 12 days... In the, during the Christmas event, so. Oh, I see. Okay. Now I'm I doubt if 12. you're going to be on this character 12 times. So. Well, no. But I mean, what level do you have to be to have a go at him? Surely I'm too low. Uh, and any four and up, I think, can do it. Oh wow. Okay. Four and up. All right. Who knows where we need to go? Because I'm not in that group. So. We need to head uh, east. East, north, that south, west, past east. Me. All right. East are you uh, are you in a group with anybody? I am no. not. So not. if you want to group me up, go ahead. I'm yeah, sure someone, be someone can send me an invite, I hope. Now, I can see a whole bunch of Christmas trees around the place as well, and I can hear Christmas music, and I can see Christmas lights on the trees. Gosh, you know what? The guys and gals at SOE do such a great job of tarting the place up all Christmas-like. But, let's see, Mind Blaster. Oh, there we go. We have to activate, Sambo. Okay, I'm joining a group with Zendon, is that right? Is that who I need to group up with? No, you should group up with Dr. Sun. Oh, okay, hang on, let's get out of that one. We will get out of that group. Hang on a second. Okay, I'll go ahead and invite you. Can somebody invite me? Now, these trees, while we're waiting for that invite, the trees that are around here, there we go, Dr. Sun, thank you very much. What's happening? Can someone explain these trees? And how come I'm trapped in a snow globe? No! Help we got <laughs> oh, dear. That's no good. So, what are, are these the presents that we need? Recovering holiday... Yeah, Oh my god! I'm dancing! And I can't control myself! That is terrible! Oh dear, oh dear. Alright, look, I'll I'll wait on the presents. I'm getting greedy. I'm gonna make my way over to you, Dr. Sun. Is that is that where I need to come? There uh, you go. You can, but I'm not out. <laughs> oh. There. Well Follow Luma. Who had yeah, laugh Sam, leads? Where you are? Uh mine. I do. Okay, so Minecrafter, where are you from the front of the station? Were you north, south, west, or east? Uh, north, east. North, east. All right, we'll head to the Daily Planet. Planet. All right, we'll see if we can find Boy, you. Well, here's a tip for everyone who is looking for Larflees. He's showing up where the heroes would usually, heroes and villains would usually show up for the fanboy, or more than you can chew feats. Hmm. All right, that of course means not much to me. I'm I'm flying over Centennial Park. Is that right? You're on the way. Go uh, north from there, I believe. No, All right. East. East. North east and east. From there. There. Oh, just east. Just east. You need to go to the Daily Planet building. Let's yeah, see I can see find somebody. It, see can find it. I think Chuma has shown up. Yeah, I see. I'm on the freeway, so come up to the freeway. Right, I can see the big freeway, the multi-lane freeway. Yes. Right, I can see that. I can see the mall. The mall on Kane Street. No, you're go northeast from there. Northeast from there. All right, let's head on out. Head on out. Where Where are you guys actually going? I think we're going to the Aim for the Daimy Planet. Well, the Daimy Planet is straight east. Well, go east then. Here we go. Hang on. Here we go. 
Who's there? This is why he says he's by them. Who is in his group? I am. No, we've got Dr. At, Sun Palmer? and Glacian98. But oh. they don't seem to be much help right about now. <laughs> oh well, never mind. Yeah, I'm, I'm flying around looking for So, like I said, maybe you might want to leave this group and mine, you invite them. Yeah, mine, do you want to invite me? I'm going to leave that group. Let's go. Oh, I don't want to leave the league, do we? There we go. Leaving the group. <laughs> there we go. So, Mind Blaster, do you mind sending me an invite? <clears throat> and in what we can find you. Find La Fleece, and then we'll get down to the task of recovering stolen holiday goods while I wait for that invite to come. And there we go. St. Nicholas. There he is. Hello. Oh, look at that. You're way over to the east from me. Oh, well, never mind. So, Kazin, so with those trees that I saw on the ground before, what do you actually do once you find one of those Christmas trees? Um, you activate it and a bunch of orange lantern constructs will come out and start attacking you and you beat them up and, and then, you then end you, up uh, with the try presents? to give the presents, you, you, know, you take them away from them to give the presents to the little kids. Ah, uh, okay, alright. So I can see I've already got one out of nine of those. Once I've got nine, do we then have to go back to the watchtower and talk with Hal Jordan again? No, oh, no. Yeah. After, after you get them all, then, uh, then you can go do the uh, instance. Oh, okay, that's going to be cool. All right, so we'll just get closer to you guys. I was flying in the completely wrong direction, by the way. Here we go. It looks like we're getting close now. Who is... Someone's flying around. There we go. The, other, the other blue There's one. one. There we go. There the, we go. The other way, Sambo. Oh, the other one? All right, I'm following. I was following the wrong person. I sent him to find a backup just in case someone activated large. Yeah, he, there's he's on the top of the you know where the walkway oh, is over there. The fruit. There's there's oh, one on the top on the there top. on okay. the roof. Well, we got one here. Uh, there's some people going down there. No, no. Okay, I can see you, Hey, okay. Hey, Hello. Hey, there there you go. Is. Go down and get him. Okay, go so straight down there. Alrighty, then. straight down. Down we go. Straight down. And hey, oh, our fleas, there, and everybody else, stay back. Uh, I can't see anybody. Uh, Let me good look around. To, your, to, to your right, to your right, to your right, to your right. Can you see the present on the right, floor? Straight yeah, right, right, straight He's right. He's on the inside the oh, present. Oh, is that him there? There you go. The lantern has a very shiny ring. Look at that. You spotted La Fleas. Oh, my Lord. Okay, so what does this mean? So for a feat, you got to spot him 12 times, times and you get a feat for him. Oh, I see. And do you know what? That actually got me a feat of completing 50 missions. There you go. Thanks a lot, guys. All right, that was worth That was very cool. All right, so now I guess we've got to run around and try and find ourselves some Christmas trees. Would that be right? Would that be right? Oh, there yep. are some this way in what I call the Daily Planet Plaza. The Daily Planet Plaza. Daily Planet All right, Plaza. following you. Following you. Hello, who's that? What was that? How many presents did you find? Oh, we found one present so far, just the one. So we're going to hunt around for some more. So of course I need awesome. nine, I need nine, nine for the Christmas nine, event. And how? Oh, there's a tree. Yeah, there's one right over there. Right how, how awesome, does, how it awesome does it look here? It looks so good. And hang on, we've got so some. Uh, who's? Someone's echoing there. There we go. Thank you. All right, so I guess we go up to this and use it, do we? Look at that. St. Nick's using the tree as well. And there they go. The orange lanterns. Let's see if we can beat these guys down. Oh, and the tree takes off. It's a rocket-powered tree. That is crazy. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Oh, and we've turned into orange snowmen. Okay, this is totally bonkers. Yeah, we can't save the tree. All right. Oh my god, and now we're doing <laughs> stupid dances. Dear, oh dear, oh dear, this is very... Oh, now I'm trapped in a snow globe. Oh, I'm not trapped. dear, oh dear. How do you... Oh, there we go. So we use our shift key to break free. Oh my lord. Alright, this is definitely bonkers. There's another present as well. Oh, and look at that. We actually saved ourselves a citizen as well. Okay, that is bonkers, and I got myself three presents for that. Let's follow Saint Nick. Because I'm figuring that if anyone knows where presents are... Oh, and there's a shiny. Can't can't go past a shiny! There we are. Wait for us, Saint Nick. We're coming. We've been good little boys and girls. And there we go. There's another tree. Awesome. Uh, do you know what? I love the way that they take off. Rocket-powered trees 
never seen that before in my life. There it goes. Blast off of a Christmas tree. Oh my god. That is bonkers. Alright, so Mind Blaster, is this the thing that we can do daily? Collecting the presents, is it? Is it? Yes, it is. And there are two types of trees, actually. Oh. Uh, there is this one with the four that come out immediately and will keep spawning. Right. Right. Uh, and there is one with a behemoth that comes out. A behemoth. The one with the behemoth is it's a lot easier. Hopefully, we'll find one. Oh, it sounds like oh, it's a yeah, lot like, harder. Yeah, like, like this has been really hard. <laughs> well, normally you're soloing these. Yeah. Right. And the right. trick with the four people is to draw them across the street. Because then when they spawn, they don't automatically chase you. Ah, I see. That's a good strategy, to, actually. To Very the good. north here. Oh, yep, yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah, see you. Got a tree around the corner. Here we go. And there go the orange lanterns. So yeah, I can imagine you're right that soloing these would be just a little bit difficult. Well, I guess because you're getting crowd controlled all the time. Look at that, we've turned into these orange snowmen and into snow globes. So that's oh, and we're dancing as well. So all the time that you're crowd controlled like this, you're going to be getting beaten up, aren't you? I imagine. Yeah, this one's a little tougher than some of the other ones because they're randomly spawning and. Yeah, ouch. Try stunning you like that. Hey, Sambo, Sambo, I'm glitching. I'm going to do two laps. Yeah, we only got eight. That's oh, look, I can't quite hear you there, whoever. Is it Zach? 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 Is it Zach? Yeah. I can't quite hear you, my friend. Got, I'm so sorry. You got eight. I'm going to do you laps with Laker. Oh, uh, okay, you can. There we go. Look, I, I can't. If anyone can hear what he's. Oh, my God, there's a behemoth. There we go. The tree takes off. Alright, yeah, this is just a little bit harder solo. Alright, this is a very cool looking mob though, gotta say. And I got myself an incredible 16 hit combo off him. Thank you, Bohemoth. I appreciate that. Oh god, and I'm dancing uncontrollably and <laughs> trapped in a snow globe. You know, that's the most ridiculous looking thing ever. Now, how come... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, how come it's not counting for my presence, but it is. I now have eight out of nine. Here comes another one, I hope. Oh, and being spazzed out and dancing yet again. And there we go. There's the Oracle. Was that it? Did you finish it? And that's not good for anybody. Yeah. Rings have left an enormous think you signature, and I'm tracing it now. I've pinpointed his location. He's holed up at a secret research facility. I'm adding the location to your on-duty tab. Head there, and I'll contact you on. Campbell, are you ready? There we go. Sorry, guys. We were just listening to the Oracle give her spiel. There we go. So you can see here, Season's Greetings. And locate and recover Laughleys' stashes of stolen holiday goods throughout Metropolis and Gotham City. And we can complete that. Now, who can help me out here? It says that my reward is going to be Holly Leaves. Now, Fair Blitz, I can see you standing next to me there. You were talking earlier about being able to get your crazy looking hat from a vendor or something. What's the currency? Is it these holly leaves? Yep. Now you can use them to buy these hats, the North Pole clothes, and this elf outfit, as well as some candy cane weapon style. Oh, is that where you got yours from, Chuma? Yep. Okay, yep. beautiful. All right, so let's complete that. We get our three holly leaves. A great stuff. So if we look in my journal now, go to type, and what have I got? I've got nothing in there. So how would I like? What do I do now? Because there's nothing on my journal. Did anyone help me out for our Christmas event? Press the Y button. You gotta go to uh, oh, here. Yes. Events. Well, it's now saying queue up for the secret research. Yeah, there we go. Oh, ring in the holidays. All right, so it just took a while. And it says here, Laughleys' greed knows no bounds. He has stolen Green Lantern power rings from defeated lanterns fighting the Sinestro Corps in downtown Metropolis. Open your on-duty tab, queue up for the secret research facility event, and ring in the holidays by saving those power rings. Okay, so that sounds very cool. Let's see if we can get rid of these orange lanterns here first. So I'm guessing this is the alert that you guys were talking about earlier. Chilma, is this the one where we... Whoa! Trapped here. Is this the one where we need to get in our group with our winners from the competition? Yeah. 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 Okay, there we go. Look so at that! is Dr. Sun standing by? 
Okay, great stuff. Yes, I am. Dr. Sun, welcome. Yep. Good stuff. Who else have we got? It's me. There we go. All right, let's get out of this one. All right, so St. Nick, uh, are you coming along, St. Nicholas? Uh, Doc, do you have a full group? Uh, as soon as I uh, invite uh, Sambo. All right. We okay. got Glacier 98, uh, Cable, and me, and then Sambo. That, that's it then. Fantastic. That's it for us. All right, so I'm very excited about this. Now, Kazin, how many times, for all of those folk who are watching along from home, how many times a day can you actually run? Like, is there a limit to how many times you can run this per day? Or can you run it as many times as you like, but there's a limit to how many times you can get a reward? Or how does it actually work? Yeah, yeah you can only run it once to get a reward. You can use the replay tokens to reset it and get the rewards again. But ah, you can do course. it every, every day. So. Of course. Now, I am a legendary player, and I'm sure a lot of folks here are as well. That means I get replay badges automatically. But I understand, Kazim, you were talking to me earlier that I get something else for being a legendary player. Is that right? You get a station cash also every month. Station cash, yeah, but isn't it? Oh, no, hang on. Is Blitz oh, and Omega? December, Omega? You also get a talking skeets robot, which I'm pretty oh, yeah, sure yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's Go to the, the one. marketplace. There's a, a reward for uh, legendary members, which is called the 25th Century Communicator. Ooh, well, Just go to the marketplace and then hit the uh, claim item, and it should be right there at the top. All right, we'll have a look at that in just a second. I'm getting an invite from Blitz Omega. Is that the group that we need? No, no, no. no. Okay, no, right. Doctor Sun. All right, so still waiting for that invite. While we do wait. For that invite, let's go into the marketplace here and we'll see if... Do you want to launch the marketplace? Yes, I do. We'll see if Kazin, a.k.a. the end is near. The Mayan Apocalypse Man himself is telling fibs. Here we go. All right, so so Kazin, I'm in the marketplace. I've got featured legend style, all sorts of stuff. Where do I go? I should be able to see the, where it says to claim, redeem, or claim. Redeem, claim, there we go, yes. And, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> 25th century communicator if I click on that and thank you for the invite there dr. Sun 25th century communicator what do I do just click on the claim button yes okay hang on let's have a look and then that then it'll go to your inventory then you can go to your inventory to equip it all right let's have a look at that let's go into our inventory there it is 25th century communicator so that's saying it's a trinket so I can drop it down on my trinket slot over here there we go. And I'm presuming to activate it, I just use my number 8 key. Would that be right? That's correct. All right, let's see what happens. Um, I don't see what happened. What happened? There he comes. Just there he is. There. Oh, there he is. So hang on, let's get out from... Hey, listen, listen. Oh, he talks. Is that him? Yep, yep. he says a bunch of random stuff. Oh, I was wondering who was doing all of that talking in the background there. Well, there you go, folks. Now you know how you can get your very own Lirius. Just trying to oh. connect with you. It's just trying to connect with us. That's Oh, and you can hear a modem sound. So that is my little friend. That is very, very cool. And look at Zendon there. That is, that's a we very call him creepy Bob. outfit. Oh, my Lord. Who can tell me what Zendon's wearing? I mean, you're next to him, St. Nick and Luma. What is that face mask they've got on? That the is nut the Nutcracker. Oh, the Nutcracker. Tell us about the Nutcracker. Whereabouts is that from? It is a drop in the alert. Oh, oh, okay, man. I hope I get one of them. All right, so you can see... As I'm, is the Snowman. As is the snowman. Oh, and the Snowman as well. Okay, very... Oh, Fair and Blitz. And a holiday sweater. Fair Blitz, you're chilling, my friend. You have chilling. Um, okay, so I can see I'm in a group now. I've got Dr. Sun. I've got Glacier 98. And I've got Cable... 67311, who of course are our competition winners, so congratulations to all of them. I'm guessing, Doctor, are you the only one from the group that's in voice chat, though? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. Oh, who else is uh, in oh, voice chat? No, I'm not here. Cable, so, guy. Cable, cable Guy. Cable Guy, hello cable to guy. you. Hello to you. Welcome, my friend. Hello. Welcome, my friend. And is, uh, uh, and is, is Glacier is here as well? Is Glacier here as well? No. No. Okay, we're just going to have to <laughs> mute. Who's that? Local Zach, Zach, Zach. Zach. Yeah. Yeah. sorry, Zach. We have to mute you because you're echoing through there. There we go. That's better. Now, before we head into this alert, 
Can I also point out this person who's standing right next to me here, which is Leopard Arrow, and they've just taken off. They had a very cool comeback here, you. Come back. That is an awesome looking set of shoulders that they've got on. Can anybody tell me what they're wearing? Because that looks amazing. I think that's a Superman. Upsand metal battle suit. That is awesome. Is that like a really high tier outfit? Like, i.e. something I'm never ever going to get? It's the tier 1 PvP suit. So you uh, could be able to actually get it quite easily. You probably oh. already have enough influence on it on Blaze Purple. Oh, don't tell me that because I'll be looking for that. Oh, I see. So Zach is Glacier 98. Okay, so that is you. Uh, let's see if we can unmute them. We're going to have to be careful, my friend, though. You're going to have to make sure that you're using push to talk. But hello there, Glacier. Good to see you. All right, so All right, I guess so. Hello. I guess we're ready now, are we? I think we've got our group. So, do because then all I need to do is go to my on-duty menu. Would that be right? That's correct. Okay, or now. whoever the group lead is. Are you the group lead? Well, hopefully someone can make me the lead. Who is lead at the moment? Is that you, Dr. Sun? Yes, it is. Would you mind switching it to me, just so we can show folks how we how we go in here? Now, while we wait for that to happen, because then, am I going to die in here? Is this super hard? No, you should be fine in this. Oh, okay. Thank you, Dr. Sun. Thank you for giving me the group lead there. Let's have a look. We go into our on-duty menu, of course. We go, no doubt, into the events tab. And here we go. Season's greetings. The secret research facility. And it says, La Flees, the ring bearer of the orange light of Avarice, has stolen power rings. And he's hoarding them inside a secret research facility. Oh, dear. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to... <gasps> Wait, there we go. something. There we go. What's that, Tilman? He might have stolen Jordan's ring. Oh, no. No. He can't have stolen Jordan's ring. I need that. I definitely need that. All right, let's queue up for this. There we go. And I can say... Now, one thing I've noticed. Um, Fair Blitz, you might be able to answer this one. How come, for this instance, it's not asking me for a roll? Uh, due to the fact that it's just a, a more open instance, really. It balances out things for the lower levels. Yeah, lower levels get a buff in it so that your equivalent of like a, maybe a CR 55 to 60. Oh, okay, all right. So it's basically going to make sure that we get, you know, um, like it's going to adjust the heals or adjust yeah. down the DPS just to make it easy. Okay, that's very cool. Okay, um, someone's trading with me, and Zendon, thank you very much, but you'll have to, can you stop that, please? <laughs> because it keeps interrupting our queue. I do appreciate it. We can trade after the show. All right, I'm going to say I'm ready. And there we go, our queue is processing. That's how easy it is, folks. You can enter your secret research facility event instant now. Assigned role is any. So are we ready, folks? Ready to rock and roll? Sure. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, let's, yes, let's, sir. Go. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Wishes Thank luck. You. And we will see you on the other side of the instance, hopefully with me not too beaten up. I never know with these guys. Are they pulling my leg? Am I going to walk in there and die a horrible death? We will soon find out. Here we go. We Open the security door to reach La Flees. Recover the recall, recover the stolen, sorry, power rings. Let me repair. That's the thing I want to do. Now, who can tell me why have I got a great big orange thing on my head? Can anybody tell me? Because you're below level 30. Because you're below level 30. Oh, okay. And do you know what the other bummer about this is? I can't... Thank you there, Scarlet Peacock. I can't repair. This, this thing won't repair. That's a bit unfair, isn't it? Are there any repairs in here at all? Can anyone no, tell no, me? No, no, no. Oh dear. Oh dear. Here we go. Let's have a look at the map. And it looks like a very simple map. So who's going to be able to talk me through this? What is this? Is this just to open the door, Doctor? Yes, it is. All right. Let's get right into it. There we go. Opening the door. Disrupt the shield. Oh, cutscene. There's the power ring trapped inside those emitters. They're fueling the shield surrounding him. Get in the mix and interrupt the flow of energy. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, so who was. I think Cable, you were here. Cable, you ought to explain to us what we need to do here. Um, we gotta, like. The orange lanterns have to kill them to the, uh, the greeds. Right. And then once you get off war, you gotta kill Larferies. And then the third time, you just gotta kill them all. Oh, okay. Alright, so what's that? So, Doctor, I can see that you've picked up something there. What is that that you're picking up, and where are you taking it? Uh, that was a uh, an orange lantern that was defeated. You take him back to the uh, deals right here in the corner, and it deactivates. Oh, okay. All right. So if I can pick up one of these. There we go. No, nope, someone else grabbed it. Oh, there's one. 
Look at this, and the team is so good, they're picking them up. All right, so now that you've picked them up, so you're taking them over to the corner and delivering them. So when you pick them up, do you get yourself a big arrow, just like all the other delivery quests in the game? Quests in the game? Yes, you do. Great stuff. All right, let's see if we can beat this guy down and pick him up. There we go, finally got one, and there's the big arrow. Okay, so we're delivering them to the Christmas trees, are we? Yeah, it looks that way. Yeah, it looks... Okay, so you use the shielded orange lanterns to disable the shield energy generators. Two out of four. All right, so we're slowly working our way through that. Good stuff. And then I guess we've got to disrupt the shield to expose La Fleas. Okay. All makes perfect sense. And I haven't died yet. Is this some kind of miracle? I'm not sure. It's, I'm not sure. Still, I'm it's still, it's still now you've jinxed it. Yeah, I've jinxed it now, haven't I? Definitely. The, the end is near! The end is near it's is, an is the Mayan apocalyptic man himself. So, Fair Blitz, your faith in me is no different than normal? <laughs> uh, very much so. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and you can take that Especially how you when you will. get to the final stage. Oh, Especially no. Especially if you go for the feet. Oh dear. All right. So I'm looking. Look, we're on La Fleas already. Disrupt the shield to explode. Expose La Fleas. So, look. It's only one shield out of three. Is there any point attacking La Fleas now? Do we have to go? Oh, use shielded. Oh, so we have to go through this all again, do we? Yep. All right. Yep, three times. All right. Okay. So where are the orange lanterns now? I can't see any. Will they come in eventually? Oh, there's a behemoth. That'll do. Is that it? So the third time we do this, so yeah, so three times it happens. After the third time, is that it? Like, do we then basically beat down on La Fleas just till he's dead? Yeah, yep, that's pretty much. But then there's a special thing you need to watch out for. Oh, now, were you planning to tell me about that special thing, or were you just going to laugh hideously as I get caught in it or whatever? Maybe. Laughter, laughter is the best medicine. Oh, that's thanks true. a lot. Thanks a lot. Oh, I notice there's presents here as well. Can I smash them? And will I get anything? No. Oh, oh man. Okay, there we go. Picking the up, end is near. Picking up another... Well, yeah, the end for me, probably, actually. All right, let's see. Where do I need to take this one? Over there somewhere. There we go. All right, one out of three. And one out of four of the shield energy generators have been disabled. So beating up on the oh, Doctor Sun, your health is a little bit low, I must say. Don't die on us, because you know what that Try would be. Well, that would be hilarious if I wasn't the one to die for once. It would be unprecedented and unheard of, but it would be pretty funny. But we don't want you to die, Doc. Sam, remember your alert for the bat cave? Oh, yes, I do. Did you have to bring that up? What? You didn't one. die in that in the raid. Oh no, I didn't die, did I? That's right. I'm thinking of the PvP. I'm sorry. That's right. Well, you know, yeah, there was so always possibly you go through the event without dying. Yep. I think that's been the only time. The only time. Although if I don't die in here, that could be a bit of a world record as well. There we go. You can see the guys and gals are doing their thing and taking their back. There's another orange lantern. Let's see if we can take him down on Taraya. And of course, you guys get to see Taraya in our Let's Play series. We don't normally get to see them in our league events. And that was Chulma's fault. Chulma, you decided that I needed to bring Taraya along today. Was there any particular reason? Chulma wants to meet her. And besides, uh, time she gets you get a scene with the other guys. Why not? Why not, I say? Yeah, we saw all the other characters. All right, so here's La Flea. All right, so here's La Flea. So I guess we're beat, La beat up on him for the second of still oh, disrupt the shield to expose. So well, does he only maintain his exposed state there? By the way, doctors for a short time. Yes, he does. Okay. Now I also noticed that we've lost one of our party members. What happened there? It's just you, me. He me and me. Yeah, you, me oh, and Glacier. Yeah, you me. My computer, right. my computer died. My computer. Oh, your computer right. died. Dear, oh dear. Well, I'm turning it back on. Good stuff. We will wait for you, of course, as all mighty super zeros do. All right, so I see that La Fleas has got the shield back on, and that means we have to do this for the third and final time, exposing the shield, yeah? Here we go. Now, why does F1 keep coming up? Why is that? 
too, because it's, it's wanting you to invite somebody back in. Just, oh, but uh, just say vac hit vac F no. Just hit no until there we go. Cable there gets we go. back. And you're gonna have to take advantage of your healing barrels because Cable was your healer. Oh dear! Oh dear! You'll be fine. We'll be fine. As long as you don't overload his lantern. His yeah, lantern. actually, yeah. Uh, you won't be able to get him back in even if he does come back on. Oh really? So he'll, it's be, just he'll, be, he'll be locked out. So it's just the three of us. I now? will. Yep. Oh yeah, that's oh. right. So unless they all die, you're just gonna have to sit back and watch sit back. Bitch. Bitch. Well, like well, well, we're not doing too badly, I must say. No major deaths so far. And there goes another orange lantern. Let's see if we can beat him up. And of course, folks, if you're watching along from home, what we're trying to do is disrupt these shields, basically. And here we go. Pick up this one. Here we go. Is that it? Is that him? Dis is the shield disrupted? Yes, there he goes. No. Oh, no. There's still an orange lantern to go. And this is the third and final time that we're doing this. Alright, and we can see doctors. Alright, is that exposed him now? Yes, there is La Fleas. He is exposed. Defeat La now, Fleas. Remember, now, what do we have to do here, children? So, in presence, we'll drop around the. Yep, orange see the presence. Power battery. So, you have to find one of them and then get them away from the battery. Okay, so we get. There'll be hard light present, so they'll be orange. Yep, so we use those and get rid of them? Yeah, yep. a random one of them will be the one you need. Okay. Okay. Oh but my it'll lord. always be the same in the same place. Power battery overload stage one. I hope that's a oh good dear. thing. No, no. that's bad. No. That means you didn't do it in time. Oh dear, oh dear. Alright, so now we're using these presents. Well, I mean, I guess there are... Oh my god, I'm dancing and I'm about to die, I think, actually. Yes, I'm dead. I'm dead. So this is going to be a little bit difficult with just two folk, isn't it? Do you know what? I think if you're not going to be able to come back in, we might have to reset this and do it again. Yeah. We've only got the three of us. That's going to be a little bit hard, isn't it? Yeah. But let's it go. can be done. Well, it can be done, but it is you. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> and, no, I'm, the end is near! The end is near we and... Love no, we're locked out. Look, okay, let's get out of here. So, how what? Sh how should somebody actually get out there's of... A, there's a teleporter back behind you. Yep, although it's reset now. Will our third party member be able to join us in here if we invite Yeah, yeah, you can actually invite him back now as long as nobody goes back in there. You can invite him back. I'm in. almost gone. Okay. Well, we'll give it one more shot, but uh, how stable is your connection there, by the way? Hmm? Cable? Do you think you'll be able to stay oh, on this time? Yeah, I'm, it's just because my computer turns off every hour. It's just a stupid, like, hardware problem. Oh, I see. Good old PCs. Good old. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, if you can be in in the next minute, we'll wait for you. Otherwise, we'll uh, we'll invite number another mighty Super Zero into the team. But it looks like it has reset, which is a good thing, Doctor. Now, what do you got on your arms, Doc? They look like candy canes. Uh, they are. They're the um, candy cane Peppermint punches. The, um, yeah. The They're peppermint punches. Oh my punches. God. This game is crazy. This game sometimes. is crazy sometimes. All right. So how's your rebooting there going, there, Cable? I'm get. I'm get. I'm playing Cable. I'm getting on them. All right. So wait a wait a minute for you. And it looks like it's all reset nicely now. Where's who we got doctors? Where's Glacier? Where are you? Are they in here somewhere? Are they in here somewhere? Yeah, he's over by, yeah, he's the, over uh, by the key. Oh, yeah, there he is. So do you know how the presents that pop out of the lantern work? Yeah, no, so you might want to go through that again, fair, so we know what we're doing. That'd okay, be good. So, so while you're fighting Laffy's for the final time, every now and then, four of these hard light presents will pop out, pop out of the power battery in the centre. Right. Now, you want to go and use them before the timer runs out. Oh, I guess and that's a speed one of the, thing. one of the four... Yeah, one of the four will four. be. Yeah, one of the four will be a sort of real one. That's a sort that of real one to pick up. That you and get want away to pick up. Right. If you don't do it in time, then he'll regain some health and become more powerful. Oh my lord! Okay, so literally drop everything that you're doing and go and use those presents. That's what we need to do. All right. Pretty so, much. Um, cable, how far away are you, my friend? Because we're run out of time. Um. 
All right, oh, so you're gonna, you're gonna invite me now. Okay, so we can invite you. Let's have a look. Go into friends. Go into league. Let's see if we can find cable. There they go. And invite to group. And hopefully that will zone you in, right? I want more presents. Yeah, sure. Get it. In. There they go. All right. So as soon as you've zoned right, in here, we will head on in. Yeah. So over the hold up. And there they go. Welcome back, my friend. <clears throat> All right, wish us luck, folks. This will be our final attempt at this. If we fail it, we're going to run out of time, unfortunately, so we won't be able to give it another go. But uh, I guess the essence is, because then that we've got to really crack onto those presents in that last phase, right? That's, that's the killer. Yeah, there's, a, there's only one. If you're looking from the door, the present on the left is the, the, the one that needs to be activated. Right, okay. All so the other remember. ones will spawn more ads. So try to leave the other ones, just get that one. Alright. We shall try. Thank you, Zendon. Thank you for the luck. And thank you to everyone in the YouTube channel as well, wishing us luck there. For our second crack at this, we will consider the first one a test run, I believe. Of course. Just okay. familiarizing yourself <laughs> That's with That's right. It was completely deliberate. The end is now you will finally kick them butt. Now we will. Now we've got a full team. To be honest, we were a little bit disadvantaged there. But now we've got ourselves yeah. a full team. Should have no problems, we hope. Oh, and look at that. So Laflees is exposed for the first time already. So we're definitely doing better this time. Now, one thing I want to ask Kazin, the damage we do to him in this phase, does it, like, is it persistent? Or does it reset every time? Yeah, it resets, but you have to d DPS him down so that you can go to the next phase. So. Oh, I see, okay. He does heal in between things, yeah, but then you have that. to get him down to, like, 75%, and then he resets, and 75% right. again. Well, there we go. Yeah, We're you don't on have to damage him much apart from the last one. Yeah, well, we're on phase two already. Now we're just looking for... We're looking for another orange lantern if we can find... Oh, there's one. Now, ten internet points to anybody, and you're not allowed to say anything in the chat room because that will be giving it away. Anybody in the YouTube chat room, ten internet points are up for grab if you're able to tell me what power set Taraya here is. What is her power set? Obviously she's a two-handed weapon, but what is her power set? There you go. First 10 internet points for the day. As we take it to the orange lanterns here. And gee, this time they're not standing a chance, are they? It's very good. Makes such a difference with a full complement of the party, I must say. Here we go, Orange Lantern, come on, and there it is. Let's pick him up and take it to the Christmas tree, which is over here. And we've got snowman constructs out this time as well. One more Orange Lantern by the looks of things, no, two more. And there we go, look at that. Season's beatings. Transport 20 shielded orange lanterns. I'm guessing that's a seasonal feat there. And we like getting feats, of course, because we get feat points. So yay us. And we're beating up on Laflees. This is the second phase now out of three. So we're all going nuts on him. Boy, he's got some big moves, hasn't he, Chilma? Ouch. Yeah, he hits hard. Yeah. Alright, and it looks like we're on the third and final phase here till we get to the end. Definitely doing better this time. Now, Dr. Sun, are you running this pretty much daily yourself? Yes, I do. Alright. 
So aside from the satisfaction of beating down Laughleys, what other rewards do you actually get out of this? Um, how he leaves, and then you get snowballs and various other uh, Christmas. All right, so we definitely want the holly leaves again being the Christmas event currency, is that right? Yes. Yep. Yeah, good stuff. There we go, another orange lantern. And picking him up, and let's see if we can take him over here to the corner. There is Greed! And did we do it that time? Did we do it? No, there's still another behemoth there that we need to take down. And there he is, I think. There's Laughleys, and now we have to defeat him. Alright, so now Kazin. Oh, there's the present, so let's drop everything and try and rush to grab these presents. There we go. Two down, three down, four down. Alright, so they've all gone. Is that good? Yep. Did you get stage one thing? Yep, one of them. One of them is still up, and I think someone picked that up. Yeah, well, the one you gotta pick up and use and throw. Yeah, carry to the side. So was that you, Doc? That's did you the grab that one? one? Yes, I did. Thank you very much. All right, here's another set of prezies. And look at that, Doctor's already got that one as well. Well done. Trying to break out of the dance move here. Quick, quick, quick. All right, got him. All right, you'll be pleased to know we're doing a lot better, although I keep getting frozen in my silly dance, and I can't seem to break out of it. Seem to break out of it. Yeah, that's normal. Is it? Oh, finally got yeah, out of that one. Because he was accessing some of the presents. Man, yeah, it took ages though. Gonna have myself a soda cola just so I can get some power. And look at that, we've got Laughleys down to about one third health, guys. You'd be very proud of us. Very proud indeed. Oh, and he's got some big knockbacks, and there goes the presents again. Let's see if we can get rid of these. And there's the one that needs to be picked up right next to you, Doc. And well done. And look at that Laughly, he's trying to get away from us. We're down, got him down to about 25% health now. Doing well. There is hope go, yet. Go. There is hope. You can do it! We you can, can do, it. do it! The end of Larflees is almost That's here! That's right! That's right! And there go some more presents. Let's see if we can get rid of those quickly. Oh, come on, grab that one, Sambo. There we go. And Larflees is literally on a slither of health. It is going to be curtains for him. It is all over for Larflees' evil event. There we go! Woohoo! And cutscene time. Yay. And look at that. Headline complete. Bah humbug. We got ourselves a whole bunch of items seem to have poured out of nowhere there. That is amazing. Let's hit our journal and see what that's got to say. It looks like we have done it and we get ourselves three holly leaves, so we definitely take over them. Thank you very much. Let's have a look in this loot window here and see what we've got. A nice list by Harvey Dent. That's a collection, so we can all need on the collection. We've got Winter Snowball, going to greed on that. A whole bunch of Winter Snowballs that I'm greeting on and a Frosty Bomb, which requires level 30, unfortunately. So I will pass on that because it wouldn't be fair if I needed on that one because I am only level 12. Well, there you go, folks. That was awesome. I really, really enjoyed that. That is a really neat little holiday event. And look, Did you find Jordan's ring? Well, am I able to run that again? Not that we're going to do it now, but if I wanted to run that again, could I run it again, even if I didn't get any rewards from it? Yes, yes, yes. you could. 
Okay, so I could just queue for it, and if I just wanted to do it for fun, that would be awesome. Alright, now if we come out of here, will we meet up with you guys? Or should we map ourselves to the uh, map to the, well, let's see, the watchtower perhaps? I don't know. I want to meet up with you guys so we can have a Christmas cheer goodbye and say goodbye for the year before we head on out. So what do you guys think? Chilma and Mind Blaster, you're the ceremonial masters today. Do you want us to hop out of the dungeon or do you want us to walk to the watchtower? Hop out of the dungeon. You that. So we head back out. All right. So we head out the yep. front. Return to last location, of course. There we go. You could also get some gear from the vending machine with the holly leaves you got. Oh, of course. Yes, I'm definitely going to be going shopping after the show. There's no doubt about that. I love shopping because I've got what? I'll have at least six now. Oh, in fact, you know what? Fair. Once my screen comes back, once we're out of this loading screen. There we go. Tell me again, where can I have a look in my UI to see how many I've actually got? My holly now you go to your inventory by pressing I. Okay, here we go. I, yep. And then go to the currency tab. Currency, there we go. All right, so, holly oh, look at that. I have got eight holly leaves already. Uh, fair blitz. Is that enough to buy me anything at all? It is, actually. Oh, good. All right, well, I'm definitely going to go shopping very, very soon. Look, it's Lafay Vierte as well. We can see Lafay there looking green as always. Well, do you know what, folks? That was actually super, super fun. I really, really, really like the little small instances that they make for the holiday events. I love the ones in Halloween. I love this one as well. Look at that. The end is near. I don't know about you, Kazin, but I'm not so sure that your character's going to have much of a role in the scheme of things now. What do you think? Actually, the end really is near. <gasps> to see that the end of Lord Fleas is near. Oh, it's yeah, the, end it. the end of Lord Oh, that's yeah, what it was yeah, all yes, about. Lord Fleas. I see, right. Well, in that case, yes. the end of today's installment. The end yep, of today's today installment, quite perhaps. In fact, you know what? It is because we've the completely gone over time. The end of the event is near. Well, we're already over time. I can't believe it. Time goes so fast. But um, you know what? It's been an extra special year this year for the Super Zeros. We've smashed all of our records in terms of memberships, both in the game and online in our engine website. And, of course, love to... Wish everybody a really, really happy and safe holiday, but more importantly, like to thank everyone for all of their contributions throughout the year for the mighty Super Zeros, and Lord only knows what it's going to be like next year. I mean, we can only go onwards and upwards from there, but uh, Kazin, do you know what's in store for the game next year? Do we? I mean, we're still waiting for the hideouts, aren't we, or the Super Zero villain bases? Can you tell us a bit about that? The, the what now? Sorry. I think that the new expansion that's coming out, aren't we waiting for that? The Home Turf? Yeah, yeah Home Turf. Uh, they're going to be releasing it probably right after the holidays on the test server and they're going to try to get it out to the general public early next year. So, let's see, Zazap, Zazap, do you, are you able to tell us about the Home Turf expansion? Like, what's one of the biggest features in it? Uh, I haven't been keeping up with that, but I do know you can decorate the inside of it. Ooh. I, yeah, yeah, you image. get two. You get a hideout and then a lair. A also, lair. you get to have battles inside your hideout and lair. That is cool. So, Chulma, tell us what exactly is a lair? A lair is a place where you can place your tomb when you're not using them, or when you just want to pretend that your tomb is... So, is it, being a so is, it, is it basically... It's kind of, it's kind of like a bedroom. Yes, yeah, so it's like housing in other games? Yes. Alright, so finally, league housing, especially, that's what we're going to be looking forward to. Well, it's just player here. housing. League housing is going to come later. Come later on, yeah. Hopefully. They have confirmed league housing will be here later. That is going to be awesome. To have our own Super Zero base, our Super Base. Oh boy. Uh, although, I'm not sure that you want me on the decorating. We definitely don't want anyone like Reggie. We don't want Scarlet Rosebud and Scarlet Peacock. I can see you over in the back. Because you know what? If we have them on it, we're going to end up with a pink Super Lair. And that's not very intimidating if you ask me. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I think we keep them away from the interior decorating, but I'm definitely looking forward to that. But anyhow, that was it. That was our little Christmas special here in DC Universe Online. I certainly hope you guys had fun. I certainly did. That is an awesome little instance, and I'm definitely going to be doing more of that so that I can get more currency so that I can go shopping on the Christmas store. That is definitely going to be a priority for me. But there you go, folks. Now, just reminding you that there will not be any more filmed events for the rest of the year. I've got a month's worth of vacation, and boy, am I happy about that. And over that time, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of live streams. So there'll be no more filmed episodes 
but I certainly hope that everyone in the Super Zeros will join me because we'll be doing a lot of content that we don't normally do in our Let's Play series and they'll be sort of one-off events over the next month so look out for them and of course if you subscribe to the YouTube channel or you're a part of the Super Zeros on the engine site you will always get advance notice of when they're happening and that means that we'd love to have you along as well. So I guess folks that is it, that's it. Happy New Year and Merry Christmas and I hope we, that, well basically I hope that 2013 is going to be as much fun that we had in 2012 because boy was that a crazy year. Who can tell me off the top of their head, let's test the general knowledge of the guys here, who knows roughly how many members we've got on our engine website, anybody? Over a thousand. 1400, yeah, over 1400 I think. Yeah. 1500. That's right, we're getting close to 1500 now and that is absolutely bonkers and we appreciate it very much. We really, really enjoy and love the support of everybody in the league here. So, of course, if you're watching this and you'd like to join the league as you heard from the Mighty Super Zeros earlier on, all you need to do is head along to the website and sign up and apply there. You do have to apply before you get an invite in-game and the invite in-game may take oh, anywhere up to 48, even 72 hours sometimes. But trust me, it's worth the wait. So I guess all that's left for us to do Aside from wishing you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year is to sign off on behalf of myself, Sambo Tarai here and everybody in the Christmas themed Super Zeros. It's us saying take care. I hope you guys have had a great year and hope you're having a great week wherever you are in the world. We do look forward to seeing you next time. We will see you then and bye bye. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas guys. See you. Yeah.